guys, Jaleesa here. First off, welcome to my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can join my little family here and never miss another video. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about this wig that I'm wearing. Now you guys know I have been getting into wearing a lot of wigs lately and this wig that I'm wearing today is from OzoWigs.com. I will leave links down in the description box so you guys can check that out. But I am loving this wig. As you can see, this wig has color in it. And the only other time that I've worn color in a wig is when I wore my model model wig and that was like a number two color. But this wig has like an ombre in it and I absolutely love it. Um, I actually want to dye my own natural hair this color but you know I'm working on that. So like I said this wig is human hair, virgin human hair. This wig is 24 inches so it is extremely long. I'm going to stand up so you guys can see exactly how long it is. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom. But that's okay. So when I got this wig, I went ahead and co-washed it. You want to co-wash your wigs every time, like when you order lace wigs and you receive them, make sure you co-wash your wigs or shampoo them, whatever you choose to do. But I co-washed this wig and I let it air dry. I didn't blow dry anything to apply, you know, excessive heat, but I air dried it and once it was air dried I went ahead and put my wig on and I flat ironed it and then I grabbed my curling wand and that's how I got these curls in to this wig. Now this wig holds curls very well. I didn't leave the curling wand on that long so like every time I grab the strand like 10 seconds is the most that I will hold um, the hair on that curling wand and I think the curls held pretty well. It didn't dry out the hair a lot and of course I used heat protectant because I didn't want to you know damage this wig because it is human hair and you want to treat it like you know it's your own. The hair is silky so it's not yakky and it is it feels super soft. I didn't have any problems with the hair shedding until I started applying my heat appliances to it so like my flat iron and my curling wand. Once I started applying that that's when I started getting a few shedded hairs in the sink and that was about it for that. Um, now, this hair is pretty dense. It's a lot of hair. I know sometimes when you get wigs it's really thin but this wig is very very thick like it's dense. Um, so yeah, you wouldn't have to add any clippings to make it thicker, nothing like that. I didn't tease this hair, so it's already pretty thick to me. Uh, while I was co-washing, the dye was running out of the wig. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. And I'm also not sure if this dye is going to last into this wig because it was quite a bit of dye that was running out into the sink. So I'm hoping it'll last because I'm loving this ombre in this wig. Um, like I love it. <laughs> it's perfect for the spring and summer and so you guys that is about it for this video. If I left out anything, anything you want to know about this wig, definitely leave your questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, like I said, I'm loving this wig. I love the color. If you guys want to get a wig just like this, I will leave a link down in the description box so you guys can check that out and purchase one for yourself. I mean spring and summer is coming up and this is like the perfect wig to wear. But you guys definitely make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more of my videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!